Hey everyone, Rat Benatar here from the All Rats team, part of the Third Web community, and today we're talking membership programs. That means that first, we're going to highlight a brilliantly executed example recently launched by the esports brand Fnatic, and then of course, show you how to launch your very own membership program using Third Web V2, just as Fnatic did. As always, if you enjoy this content, please be sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and share it with a friend who may enjoy it. Now, memberships to organizations and even digital memberships have existed well before NFTs ever did. But using NFTs to fuel the business model is a game changer, and the Fnatic team's execution demonstrates why that is. Fnatic is a global esports performance brand headquartered in London and founded in 2004. So with over 17 years of experience of leadership in an emerging market, they are now once again looking to blaze some new trails by vastly expanding their audience through NFTs. Fnatic Keys is a tiered digital membership program with NFTs which unlock ongoing access to exclusive events and products, meet and greets with the team, and one-of-a-kind drops. Higher tiers unlock higher levels of access. The first part of this program involved a free NFT drop, which could be claimed by their audience. Now, this was a great way to onboard a non-crypto native audience into NFTs. Fnatic implemented a gasless drop, meaning that they covered all transaction fees for their audience. And it seems like it's working because over 150,000 NFTs have been claimed by their audience from over 120,000 unique wallets. And how did they accomplish all of that? Well, yeah, you guessed it, by using Third Web V2. Let's take a look at how they pulled this off. As always, we'll get started at thirdweb.com. Now, Fnatic launched on Polygon, so I'm just going to use a test network on Polygon known as Mumbai, but you can choose any of the listed networks that you see here. We're looking to release a drop, and specifically an addition drop. If you're interested in launching an NFT drop for something like a new PFP project, make sure to check out our previous video where we cover that in depth. This is the name and description of the collection that will show up inside of a place like OpenSea. The image will also be the default image that shows up at the top of the collection on OpenSea. You can use a static image or GIF. You will also come up with the token symbol here. Finally, your payout settings. So you have two main opportunities for sales. The primary sales are those from when your NFTs are initially being minted by your community. Remember, 100% of all proceeds from the primary sales will go to your wallet. Royalties, however, are what you'll get from secondary sales, like if your NFT gets sold on OpenSea after the mint. When you're all set, click Deploy Now and be ready to complete a transaction. Next, we need to upload the NFT itself. So I'm going to add in my art, update the text fields, and click Create Drop. Now that my pass has been created, I need to set my claim phase. I'm going to cap my supply at a limited amount here, but you can leave it unlimited if you'd like. I could also set a price on this, but in my case, I want the claim to be entirely free for my audience. And finally, in order to restrict the amount of claimable NFTs to one per wallet, I'm going to update this setting right here. Now that I'm done, I could embed this onto my website as is, but I would rather take things a step further and follow Fnatic's example by making this a gasless mint. While I'm setting up my developer environment here, please know that all the detailed instructions and code examples that you need are covered in the documentation section of our website. I've gone ahead and linked everything up in the description of the video. We're going to set up our gasless mint utilizing a service known as Open Zeppelin, as well as our demo repository that we have on GitHub. After I've cloned the GitHub repo, I'm going to go into Open Zeppelin. Through Open Zeppelin, I can set up my first relayer. I'm going to name it, choose the network, and click Create. Now, what I'm effectively doing here is funding my drop ahead of time so that I'm covering all the gas fees on behalf of my community. Because the Polygon Network's native token is Matic, I'm going to send this address some Matic. Next, I'm going to create an auto task. So I'm going to name it, then connect it to my relayer. Then before we're ready to launch, I just need to update a few things inside my code editor. So I'm going to update the addition drop value to match the contract address of my drop, and I'm going to set up my local environment variables. I'll know I've done this correctly because when I then go to mint the token, it will not prompt me to pay a gas fee. It will simply ask me to sign the transaction. If you can afford to do this for your community, it's going to go a long way towards expanding your audience. 
Great, so now that your NFTs have been claimed, let's finally take a look at an easy and popular way to enforce this membership inside of your Discord community. So what we're doing here is ensuring that only the members of your community that hold the requisite membership NFT are getting access to the gated areas of your Discord. To do this, we're going to add in a free bot called Collabland to your Discord. Now, all that Collabland is really doing is asking your community members to connect their wallets because it wants to check for your membership token. If they don't have it, well, then nothing will happen. But if they do have it, they're going to assign a new Discord role to that member. Because after all, that's really how you can gate specific channels in your server to only the token holders, by restricting specific channels to only members with a given role. Once you add the Collabland bot into your Discord server, they make it nice and easy to follow a guided set of prompts from the bot itself. Get started by visiting the new Collabland config channel and put in the command setup role. Among other things, it's going to ask you for your contract address. So just remember, you can grab that from within your third web dashboard right here. Now that it's set up in my Discord, I'm going to test it out. Take note that I don't currently see any type of members only channel inside of this server. But once I connect, I now have access. And that's all there is to it. What kind of membership program are you looking to set up? Please be sure to let us know in the comments because we would love to hear from you and answer any further questions that you might have. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.